be Snow is the Lord Patron of Yusnan. If anyone's supposed to protect the people, it's him. But instead, he's hiding away in that palace, presiding over endless banquets. It doesn't look like he's doing a thing to stop the chaos. Is that right? Yes, and the situation is growing critical. If the city is lost to the chaos, it'll be the beginning of society's collapse. All of the people left in this world depend on the goods that are made and distributed from here in Yusnan. So this city is humanity's lifeline, and the last remaining bulwark against total anarchy. It's a hell of a responsibility. To be in charge of a place like this, it's not easy to carry the fate of an entire world on your back. Yes, and don't forget, he's been doing it for hundreds of years now. It's no surprise that he might have grown tired of the burden and chosen to throw it off. We eagerly await the morrow. It's possible that Snow's to blame for the chaos infusions. If he's finally given in to the pressures on him, and his... Light! A pickpocket! Catch him and get back what he's... Hello again. Come on, you know what I want. Ugh, damn it! Here. If you don't smarten up, next time I'll call the guards. Next time you won't catch me. You have to stop this. What would your parents say? Who cares? Because I don't. The eye has seen. You will come again. It is... I can tell you're pretty upset. Want to tell me about it? What good would that do? You can't teach me how to sing again, can you? You forgot how to sing? My voice is just gone. I, I can't hold a note anymore. Are you sure you're not sick or something? My heart may be. The cruel bastard, he left me. And you think he took your voice with him? You don't understand what it is to perform, do you? He's not just my lover. He's written all my best hits. We were an unbeatable partnership. But then he up and left, leaving nothing but his songs behind. I tried to sing them, but I'm so angry at him, I just can't get the words out. So you're not heartbroken, just angry? I don't expect you to understand. You're right about that. I don't understand at all. Wait a second. Would you be willing to go and find him for me? I'll make it worth your while. My word is good, I promise. Why are you asking me? <laughs> because there's no danger he'd fall for you and forget about me. Don't hate me if he does fall for me. <laughs> if he does, I'll hunt you down, tear your hair out, and claw your eyes. Do I make myself clear? Anyway, his name is Birdie. He's the kindest, most gentle man in the whole city. He should be easy to find in a sea of undesirable men. That's really not much of a lead, but I'm willing to help you out. What prompted you to take on such a strange job? I don't know. I think this city must be getting to me. Why are you running from me? I just want to talk. I, I don't know any Olga. I mean... 
It doesn't take a genius to figure out you know her. Do you know anything else about her? Like, where her missing lover is? Oh, I can't keep this secret for any longer. I just can't. I have to confess it to someone, and it might as well be you. I'm her lost lover. Is this your idea of a joke? No, it's true, I swear! My name is Birdie. You know, the songwriter? I promised her my undying love, but now I don't dare face her. I unwittingly lost the 354th song I wrote for her. Wait a minute. Did you say 354? That's a lot of songs. Well, you know, I had a few centuries. You didn't run out of ideas? Ideas come easy. I picture my Olga, and the melodies just come to me fully formed, as if from another world. Huh. Better to be lucky than good, I guess. But a dark cloud has blotted out the sun of our radiant love in the form of a frightful monster that suddenly attacked me and stole that song away. Which, incidentally, brings me to the favor I want to ask. I'm sure you can guess what it is. Why don't you spell it out for me, just to be sure? Well, I was thinking that you could get my music back from that, uh, monster. I'd give you a reward, please? You and Olga, neither of you mind asking strangers for favors, do you? There's something I just don't get. Why can't he just write a new one? Now that you mention it, I didn't even think to ask. I just got caught up in their little game. Well, they are artists. Putting on a show is what they do. Anyway, since you already agreed to help... Excuse me there, young lady. May I ask you somewhat of a strange question? Have you had anything stolen by a pickpocket, for example? Yeah, just like a damn tourist. It was a kid, and he knew what he was doing. A young boy, was it? Uh, and he's still up to his old tricks. I know the lad, and his is a sorry tale. Not likely to hear a sadder one in all of you's none. If I compensated you, would you be so good as to forget this happened? You're sure it was this kid? Yes, it could be none other than the orphan boy Pickett. Then maybe he should be punished. He needs to learn that stealing is wrong. You see, the poor boy has lost both of his parents. Have you no sympathy at all? I've got plenty. He's not the first person in this world to lose someone they love. Have you... Uh, have you lost family too? Maybe. You have, haven't you? I can tell. Then you can help the boy. Someone like you will be able to reach out to him. I need you to give him this letter. It's from his father, who gave it to me for safekeeping. It's the only thing he left his son. I'll do it, but I don't see why you can't give it to him yourself. How did you know his father anyway? We were both hunters who tracked ferocious monsters, but then Pickett's father was killed and his death was my fault. And so he refuses to accept the letter from my hands. Please, won't you give Pickett the letter from his father? It may help him end his criminal ways and get his life back on track.
your funeral. The satchel you recovered from the monster? That has to be Birdie's. Which means the music inside must be the song he wrote for Olga. I'm curious to hear it. Let's just get it back to the line. Come on. I don't have time to play. The cycle of death ends now. Hope the next goes as well. Along. I hope you haven't forgotten his name. Be careful around Olga. She's a bit of a diva, if you couldn't tell. My wallet's gone again. Eagerly. No! I'm not gonna make you give back what you stole. It belongs to you anyway. Did you notice? Huh? What is it? A letter? And it's addressed to me? Oh yeah? Huh. It's from my old man. What am I supposed to do with this? Why are you asking me? It's yours now. Throw it away for all I care. Damn right I'll throw it away. And I don't need your permission either. Listen, I'm not gonna pretend I understand. It must be hard for you, losing your parents, then being trapped in a child's body for centuries and centuries all alone. Th that's right. You can't understand. No one can. Let me tell you something. I lost my parents, but it wasn't the same. I still had my sister. I wasn't left all on my own. I was luckier than you. So, your parents are dead too? Yeah. It happened a long time ago, but I remember being really angry. People pitied me, treated me like a helpless child. I couldn't stand it, so I pushed people away and built walls around me. But I still had my sister. She understood me. It's not fair. I didn't have anyone. I was left all alone. I know. If it were me, I couldn't have done what you did. 
You're a lot stronger than I am. You've done an amazing thing, going through that and surviving all these years. You should be proud of yourself. I should? I've never felt proud about anything. But when you put it like that, maybe I should be proud. Palisgars are conducting a search for the intruder calling herself the savior. She has rose-colored hair and a huge earring. This way, ladies. Citizens are asked to report persons matching this description to the nearest Play that again for me. Oh, hey! Your name isn't Lightning, is it? And just how did you know that? Oh, well, the girl in black told me. She said that if I played this song, a lady called Lightning would show up. Lumina. That's it, Lumina. She's the one who showed me how to play the song. So, do you know it? Sure, I've heard it before. So why don't you play me the rest of it now? <laughs> What's so funny? That's exactly what Lumina said you'd say. She said that if I played the first bit, you'd come over to talk to me, and then you'd be sure to ask me to play the rest. I'm guessing now I have to do something to hear the rest, right? Yep. Lumina said if you want to hear the whole song, you're gonna have to find the musical treasure spheres. I've got a key that's supposed to open them all. I'll play Luminous Little Game, but not for my own benefit. Maybe if Snow hears that song down here in the streets, it'll give him some smidgen of hope. Huh? Wait a sec. Are you saying this song has something to do with the patron? What? I can't say, but I'll tell you what. You play me the whole song, and maybe I'll tell you. All right, it's a deal. But you still have to do what I asked for first. Here's the key to the boxes. You have to find all of them. When you're done, come back and talk to me. Got the finest stock in town. Come back soon. I can finally return to Olga and present her with my new song. Where have you been all this time? Don't you realize that people were actually worried? Olga, my love, be still my beating heart. To hear your dulcet tones again, it's a dream come true.
Oh, it was very clever of me to ask for your help. Thank you for bringing Birdie back safe and sound. We artists are cursed with sensitive souls and our hearts are easily broken. So that's how you treat sensitive souls, huh? If you're talking about the way I speak to Birdie, everything I say comes from love. In any case, I owe you a favor. Olga shall sing for you. It's your favorite song, or so I'm told. How would you know my favorite song? It's not a bad song, it has its moments. But it doesn't compare to the sublime melodies that Birdie writes. Is he really as good as you say he is? Absolutely. Of course, I'd never tell him that. His head is already big enough as it is. Now I have a song to sing for an audience of one. I hope you feel grateful. This is a very, very rare treat, you know. Normally, I only sing for Birdie or a paying audience, and I assure you, tickets to my shows are not cheap. Um, thanks, but tell me one thing. How do you know my favorite song? Who did you talk to to find out? A young girl called herself Lumina. Now, Evans, if you would... Right. It's always been her favorite. I wonder if she can hear it. Wherever she is. You will come again. She has rose colored hair and is carrying an enormous weapon. The day shall be the morrow. We eager. gave the letter to pick it, although I guess it's more accurate to say he stole it off me. He did? Um, but you know what? It might be the last thing he steals. I saw him just a little while ago and something was different about him. He seemed proud, holding his head high. Why, he reminded me of his father. I think his criminal days might be over. You did the right thing, helping that child. Maybe you shouldn't call him that. Child, I mean. He seems more mature than other kids. If you treated him more like the young man that he's become, he might listen to you. Yes, you're absolutely right. Of course, the next time I see little Pickett, I shall address him not as a child of my dear friend, but as a man in his own right. Thank you so much for all your help. Conducting a search for the intruder, calling yourself the savior. 
Music for you. Now play me the song. Hey, thanks, Lightning. Okay, here goes. This description to the nearest security officer. You always love this song. I remember when you told me what it was about. That you had to believe in tomorrow, no matter how bleak the future seemed to be. Keeping hope alive gave you the strength to make tomorrow a better place. I can see you now like it was yesterday, humming the song softly to yourself. Tell me, Sarah, can you hear it now? Are you somewhere close watching me remember you? That's some story. So, the patron was her fiancé, and this was one of her favorite songs, and it must mean a lot to him. It would bring back a lot of memories. By the way, what's the song called? It's called Miracles. You want to do me a favor? Keep playing it as often as you can. Maybe he'll be able to hear it. It'll do him good. Sure, no problem. I doubt he can hear me down here, but I won't stop playing it, just in case. Miracles do happen sometimes, right? <laughs> 